You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures too. Today, uh, uh, our three children are having their birthday. Uh, Caris, Sean, and uh, Lavette. Once again, I say, happy birthday. <laughs> you know, thank you. You know, I am very, very proud of all of you. Yeah. Oh, you have you have given me so much joy since you were little. We rejoice to see this day. I and your mother, Mommy Christy. <laughs> Mommy Christy is the best woman in the world. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she's so full of passion. She's very, very, very kind and helpful to everybody. So full of love. <clears throat> Through thick and thin, oh, we survived. Yeah. And together we built this kingdom to what it is today, greater, stronger, and, and, and more influential. Mm. <laughs> and uh, our children, you are the honey that we've been put in our lives to make it even sweeter. Oh. <laughs> and because of this, I have decided that the entire family will go on a one month to holiday. Mm. Yeah. Yes, to that place that you've always wanted to go to, Miami Beach. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> uh, that, that is not all. When we get back from the holidays, the three of you will get one brand new car each. I think. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's still not over. <laughs> because your king is happy. He's very, very happy. I want to give a gift to every single person who lives and works in the palace. A present from me. All those who are not here, you tell them that they should come and get their gifts from the king. I thank you. Thank you all. Enjoy yourself. Yes. Thank you. I'm going to tell that when we get to Miami, that we'll stay one more month before coming back and we we'll come back with them. Um, I don't think he'll agree to that. Mm -mm. No, he will agree. Trust me. Just be optimistic. <laughs> remember when we went to New York? He didn't want anybody to be left behind. Remember that one? It's been three years now. Things are different. We are much more now. Yeah. Well, we will see. We'll still give it a shot. You know, find out if... I don't know. I'm not so convinced. Though. Just be like, optimistic. Um, okay. Hello. What are the two of you up to? What are you discussing? What we're discussing? 
is none of your business. It doesn't concern you in any way. Okay. But I do hope you still remember he's your brother. <laughs> Thank you so much for reminding me. Yes, he's my brother. He's my legal brother and not my biological brother. And so are you. Yeah, can you please excuse me? Oh, excuse us. Sure, I had excused. Thank you. Harris? Yeah. I'd like to talk to you later at the garden mm -hmm. when you're done talking with them. Alright, sure. I'll see you there. No, you're not going anywhere. You're not going to any garden with him. Hey, relax. Maybe not tonight. Maybe tomorrow. Anytime. Call the shop. See ya. See ya. You're not going anywhere with him. You're not. Shh. What's the matter with you? There's no need for you to stress over Sean. You know how he is. Come on now, back to what we were saying. Listen, guys. I want you to be honest with me. About the princess. Okay. What about the princess? Have you ever slept with her? <laughs> what? <laughs> no. Come on. <laughs> no, I've never slept hey. with her. Don't lie to me. Come on. Don't lie to me. Sean, I'm not lying to you. I'm being very honest. I have never slept with her. <laughs> Why are you asking anyway? Nothing. Just being curious. Ah, you know that killed the cat, right? <laughs> I'm just messing with you. No, no. Nothing like that. Oh. It's just that, uh... I don't know why she despises me so much. She doesn't despise you, Sean. It is you that misunderstands her. Besides, you know she's a young lady. I don't think so. Sean! Caris! And Tzika. Oh! You guys are here. Yes. Yeah. Your mom wants to see you. Is everything okay? Yes, everything is okay. Okay. All right. Tell her we'll be there. No. Let's go now. You don't keep the queen waiting. Come on, guys. Let's go. Sure, Aunt Sika. Why are you dodging my question? Hmm? Tell me. Why wasn't I invited for your birthday party? Did I do anything wrong? Or is it because I'm not royalty? Come on. Don't say that, please. Then answer the question. Why wasn't I invited? Or are you ashamed of me before your parents? Oh, okay. Okay, I get it. I get it. So they have arranged someone else for you, right? Can you just stop saying this nonsense? Stop saying this nonsense. No, I won't. I won't because I'm sick and tired of the secret relationship I'm having with you. What is it? Eh? If you're so ashamed of me, why don't you just let me go so you stop wasting my time? Sweetheart, it's not what you think. You know very well that you're one person I love and respect so much. Then what is it, baby? What is it? I'm sorry. It's just that I, I'm trying to put everything in place. Baby, it's been over a year now, and it's been all secrets. I'm tired. Yes, I know I'm not royalty, but I'm from a responsible home. At least we're not poor. So, so stop treating me like some street girl because you're a prince. Hey, come on. Stop talking like that, okay? Look, everything is going to fall in place just as you want it. Just be patient. Just be patient with me. Let's just be patient. Hmm? Okay. <laughs> so, how long are you staying for your holiday? Um, just about one month. One month. Yeah, that's what my dad said. I miss you, baby. I'm gonna miss you too. <laughs> right, uh, 
Have we all packed for uh, the journey? Yeah, our luggage are all packed. <laughs> so, we are good to fly. Yes, my love, we are set. Mm. Honey, you look troubled. Mm -hmm. What is it? Oh, it's about the throne. What about the throne? Who sits on it after I'm gone? Come on, darling. There's nothing to worry about the throne. You have a son. Your eldest son is physically, mentally strong to handle that seat. It's not a matter of being physically fit. It's a matter of wisdom, brains. And I, 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 I feel that Karis is, is wiser. Honey, don't talk like that. Don't judge them like that. You can't take what belongs to the older and give to the younger. Look, it is not a matter of uh, who is older. You know... Please don't talk like that. Don't judge them like that. I don't like the way you talk. Let's change this topic. But honestly, darling, you and I know that these kids are not our biological children. Exactly. Which is the more reason why I am concerned. One of these boys will become king. And he must marry our daughter, the princess. Let's talk about this another day. For now, let's sleep. Let's sleep, please. This is good. Ah, I am so happy. Now, you remember before we went to Miami, I promised you all one brand new car each. Did I not? Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God! Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. You're oh, welcome. whoa. Yes, yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dad. Uh -oh. And that uh -oh. is not all. I have a check for one million naira each. Thank you, Dad, indeed. <laughs> for you to fuel your car. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much, Dad. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, you're welcome. Thank you, honey. My dear. You're welcome. Thank you so much, Dad. Um, Dad, the car is it outside? Of course. Oh, Come on. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Your leg, your leg, your leg, your leg. Your leg, your leg. 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 Your leg
dare explain anything to me. Sean, if that happened next time, you wouldn't like my action. What insult? I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. Please, listen. Oh, please, just take me home. Take me home now. I want to go home. Incense. Mom, you're still awake. Sean, where are you coming from at this hour of this night? Where are you coming from at this hour of this night? Look at you. You come back every day drunk. What kind of life are you building for yourself, Sean? When are you going to become responsible and stop this miserable, reckless, dirty life of yours? Hey, mom, I'm responsible, okay? Clubbing you know, or having fun doesn't make me irresponsible, does it? Yes, it does. Especially when it becomes consistent. You come back every night drunk. What kind of life are you building for yourself? Can't you see your brother carries how he carries himself? Can't you? Hey mom, please. I may be clubbing or party, but I hate it when you try to compare me with Karis. We don't have the same destiny. Okay? So please stop the comparison. Good night. Sorry for keeping you awake. Make no mistakes about it, Princess. This is um, Dad's and the Kingdom's wealth. You know, I like to be a man of my own. You know, make my own money. That's the kind of person I am. Look, I don't enjoy the luxury of royalty without a sense of responsibility and contribution towards its success. It's um. Nah. <laughs> Well, that's a very wise thing to say, really wise. You know what? What? I'll give you my own part of the money when you're ready to invest in the business. Seriously? I cross my head and put it. <laughs> no joking, no kidding. I'm serious. <laughs> oh, God, you're such a darling. It's okay. <laughs> I promise I won't disappoint you. As a matter of fact, I'll double it. 
It's okay, it's all right, it's mm -hmm. fine. Mm -hmm. Now, Psst, to sit on the chair. Oh, sure, why not? Ah! <laughs> no, he can't do that, stop it! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> oh, I am very happy. Happy that you have, we've all been able to come together to dine with me. Oh, this is good. Oh, I've longed for this. All one family. Mm. Me too, Dad. I have always looked forward to this. Mm. Especially when we celebrate our birthdays together. <laughs> and the gifts keep rolling in from you, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of gifts, my heart indicts a good matter. Honey, are you planning to give them another car and money? Honestly, you're spoiling these gifts. <laughs> no, it's greater than a gift. It's about my princess and my throne. What about the princess and the throne? You know, <clears throat> The throne of Isiba will remain in our family, but for this to happen, whoever I select to succeed me from my two adopted children, then he will be the one to marry you, my princess. You will be his queen and you will have a male child for him who will continue with our lineage. If it's about that, we don't have a problem. Honey, honestly, when we get to that bridge, we'll cross it. We all know that the force must come first. <laughs> There's nothing to worry about. Excuse me. And yeah, time is short. And I thought we ought to know. Why did you leave the way you did? It is crystal clear, Princess. Dada said it all. We cannot be together. Not anymore. It is futile for us to think that we have a relationship or to dream of a future together. How do you mean? I mean why are you saying this thing? Oh, come on, Princess. Don't tell me you cannot read the writing on the wall. Sean is going to be the next king because that's the norm, that's the tradition. He is the eldest son and he is going to marry you. No way. That will never happen, okay? I will never agree to that, never. Princess, you know the king's word is the final authority. No one can go against it. So it is useless for us to continue in this relationship. Just stop, stop, stop. Please, just stop. Why are you saying all these things? You're breaking my heart. Sean will never succeed him. Never. What if it's you? Have you ever thought of that? Have you ever thought in that direction? Have you? Come on, Princess. It's absolutely useless for you to think about that when you know the obvious. You have to keep your faith alive. 
mean, you have to just remain positive. You have to remain optimistic. Please. I beg you. Please. I believe you heard um, what Dad said concerning who's going to be the next king after him. Yes, I did. Is there a problem? Of course there's a problem, Karis. You are the problem. How so? It's very obvious that you're not going to be the next king after Dad is gone. And that makes Princess mine. So whatever relationship you may have with her now, We'll have to stop. So what would you have me do? Of course you know. I've said that already. It is high time you stop whatever relationship you have with her so that she can be focused to be my queen. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sean, man, you make me laugh. <laughs> Uh, I don't know why you're getting yourself all walked up over the princess. The princess doesn't like you. She doesn't love you. She's not interested in you. But you, you, you have a girlfriend, Rhoda. She's a very nice girl. And she loves you, loves you very much. Why don't you bring her home? Introduce her to mom and dad. Build on that relationship and she just might be your queen. I'm not here to mince words with you, Karis. Just do exactly what I told you, or else you will not have just me to contend with, but also with the kingdom. What has come over you, Sean? I mean, why are you behaving? You know, ever since you discovered that I and Princess have something going on, you've become very cold towards me. Why? Huh? Tell me. Because I don't understand this new phase of yours. We used to be very good together. Yeah, I mean, we're from different parents, but we were adopted the same day, and that makes us brothers. Why are you doing this? Save me all that history. Just do what I said before it's too late. Troubled. What is it? <clears throat> Leave us. Uh, not, not you. There's a problem. My throne is being threatened by the chief priest and the people. What do you mean? That I am not supposed to be the king. I am going to be dethroned. What? That's impossible! Honey, you're joking, right? Oh, I wish I were. The chief priest has spoken. And he's coming here soon. Thank the gods that the whole family is here. I have come to inform you that King Esika of Isiba Kingdom has been dethroned. King Esiba the seventh is no longer the king. He will have to leave this throne within three days with every one of you. Why, if I may ask, what has he done? That question is too high for you to ask. 
My father, the king, has ruled this kingdom for 25 years. Yes. You can't just walk here within a twinkle of an eye to say that he has been dethroned. For what? It is not how long a man sits on the throne that counts. It is whether the person has done very well or is fit for the throne or not. 25 years was long enough for the gods to have known if he was fit for this throne or not. Except you're telling us that the gods have gone confused or blind. Watch your tongue, woman, before you incur the wrath of the gods. Well, let them hear and unleash whatever wrath. This is unacceptable. We are not going to accept this. No way. Silence everywhere. The gods have spoken. You have three days to vacate this throne. After three days, none of you must be seen near the palace, in or outside of it. You have been warned. None of you should remove anything from this palace or from the kingdom. If you do, you'll be visited by gods with death. You have only three days to vacate this palace. Remember, you are no longer a royal family. They want to take away everything that we worked so hard to build all this year. And honey, you want to give it out to them without even a fight. Ah. My dear, who do I fight? Is it the gods? Is it the priests? The people? Who? Honey, you can do something. Something can be done. What can be done, my dear? Plead with the people. Plead with the elders. We can't just walk away like this. Uh, my dear, I will not subject myself to the indignation of uh, begging. Begging! No. No. <laughs> uh, let us just leave. Honey. This is unfair. Go there where? Where are we going to? Well, when I, when I heard about uh, uh, what was coming, I secured a, a three-bedroom um, apartment for us uh, to manage in. Three-bedroom apartment? For we to move into? How? All of us? Small apartment like that? Uh, well, we, we, we'll have to manage. You know, we, we didn't, we're not allowed to take anything out of the palace. Uh, we, have to, we have to manage. Well, honey, you have some millions in your account. At least you can keep that to yourself. We can manage that. No, that uh, belongs to the, uh, to the kingdom. And the gods will kill me if I dare. Oh, this is not fair. God in heaven, this is not fair. Oh, the things we built all, the, all these years, honey. Look at me. We are work. Oh, this is not fair. Yeah. No, but uh, you just have to manage somehow. Oh. Tomorrow. We'll have to let go the maids, the guards, which I'll be left with two, Tessie and Zika.
So how are we going, Dad? The bus. Oh my God. What? My God. The bus? What? This bus? This bus? friend of mine heard about my plight and uh, he has uh, promised to give me some money but until he does uh, we will just manage the best way we can um, Sean Harris you will occupy that uh, bed on the right uh, Zika my princess, you will occupy the room on the right. And right there, we shall occupy the one inside. Tessie. Yes, Your Majesty. I'm afraid you'll have to manage the floor. It's okay with me, Your Majesty. Well, and I am no longer Your Majesty. Uh, call me uncle. No, Your Majesty, I can't. You are the only king I know. Even though you're not on the throne anymore. Was a king. Is always a king. Thank you. Thank you, my dear. Um, well, all of us, let's go and uh, rest the best way we can. I'll see you all later. My dear. So. This whole thing seems like a dream to me. I wish I can just wake up from this bad dream. I don't know why we are brought here in the first place and subjected to this low level of life. Look at the food you are even eating. I can't even stand it. I, 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 don't, I just hate it. I hate it. It's okay, princess. Everything will be fine. My princess, we will all get used to it. Just be patient. What are you saying, Dad? You mean we're going to get used to suffering? Is that what you mean? Son, whichever way you look at it, life must go on. It is the ability and wisdom that we use to handle those situations. That is what makes us champions. I don't think so, Dad. I don't think so. It is the courage to stand and fight for what is our right. That is what makes us heroes and modern champions. Look at the way you just took us out of that place without putting up a fight. We just left there like some cowards. Come on, Sean. You don't talk to Dad like that no matter what. You keep quiet when I'm talking. No, you keep uh, quiet. What's him. wrong with you? Let him be. Let him be. Maybe he has an idea that will help the situation. Come on, Sean. Speak. The, the, the hero that you are can uh, give us ideas as to how to handle this situation. Over 
two weeks now that we moved out of the palace. I have called both of you to let you know that uh, you will no longer be able to stay with me in this apartment. Becomes, it has become too small. I have uh, secured you um, a one-room apartment. And, uh, here's the key. Where is the place, Dad? Oh, it's a bit far from here, but it's uh, in a, 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 around this same city. Um, you will both uh, stay in this same um, apartment. Now, um, I have uh, 200,000 Naira for you. 100 for you and another 100 for you. It is for your upkeep. And uh, I have given both of you good education. So get a job. Um, how do you mean that? You mean we should go and work? Yes. Or um, start your own business and see how you get on at the end of one year. It is survival of the fittest. You will work and you will work hard to survive. Like I said, you have your money and you have your key. Thank you very much, Dad. It's, that's quite a big relief because indeed the place has become pretty small for us all. Sure. Well, I'm glad you think that way. Remember, you leave tomorrow. is really happening. I can't believe that we've left the palace. <laughs> I'm yet to accept that this is really true. Well, I don't know about you, but I've moved on, put all of that behind me. We have a great future ahead of us. What are you talking about? What future? Future in this one room apartment? Living like beggars, like nobodies. Oh, come on, man. Are you talking as though you've never tasted power, wealth, and affluence? You and I know that I have. We grew up in the palace together. But you see, the difference between you and I is that I can adapt to any circumstance, but you cannot. Listen, I was not raised that way. So? Things have changed. What are you going to do? Sit back and dwell in the past? Come on, man, move on. Dust our certificates. Let's, let's go job hunting, you know? Do something with ourselves. Easier said than done. No problem. <laughs> there are millions of people out there looking for jobs. Uh, I will give it my best. <laughs> hey! Come down from Naka! Get out of this place! Get out! I'll get you arrested! For what? For what? Why do you want me to go? Listen, I'm going nowhere, okay? This is my father's palace. I'm going nowhere. 